Mali listen, French pronunciation, Mali, officially the Republic of Mali French, République du Mali, is a landlocked country in West Africa, a region geologically identified with the West African Kraton. Mali is the eighth largest country in Africa, with an area of just over 1,240,000 square kilometers 480,000 square miles. The population of Mali is 18 million. It borders Mauritania to the west, Senegal, Guinea, Ivory Coast and Burkina Faso to the south, Niger to the east, and Algeria to the north. Its capital is Bamako. The sovereign state of Mali consists of eight regions and its borders on the north reach deep into the middle of the Sahara Desert, while the country's southern part, where the majority of inhabitants live, features the Niger and Senegal rivers. The country's economy centers on agriculture and mining. Some of Mali's prominent natural resources include gold, being the third largest producer of gold in the African continent, and salt. Present day Mali was once part of three West African empires that controlled trans Saharan trade the Ghana Empire, the Mali Empire, for which Mali is named, and the Songhai Empire. During its Golden Age, there was a flourishing of mathematics, astronomy, literature, and art. At its peak in 1300, the Mali Empire covered an area about twice the size of modern-day France and stretched to the west coast of Africa. In the late 19th century, during the scramble for Africa, France seized control of Mali, making it a part of French Sudan. French Sudan then known as the Sudanese Republic joined with Senegal in 1959, achieving independence in 1960 as the Mali Federation. Shortly thereafter, following Senegal's withdrawal from the federation, the Sudanese Republic declared itself the Independent Republic of Mali. After a long period of one-party rule, a coup in 1991 led to the writing of a new constitution and the establishment of Mali as a democratic, multi-party state. In January 2012, an armed conflict broke out in northern Mali, in which Tuareg rebels took control of a territory in the north, and in April declared the secession of a new state, Azawad. The conflict was complicated by a military coup that took place in March and later fighting between Tuareg and rebels. In response to territorial gains, the French military launched Operation Serval in January 2013. A month later, Malian and French forces recaptured most of the north. Presidential elections were held on 28 July 2013, with a second round runoff held on of August, and legislative elections were held on 24 November and 15 December 2013. Etymology The name Mali is taken from the name of the Mali Empire. The name was originally derived from the Mandinka or Bambara word Mali, meaning hippopotamus, but it eventually came to mean the place where the king lives. The word carries the connotation of strength. Guinean writer Gibral Nian suggests in Sundiata, an epic of Old Mali, 1965, that it is not impossible that Mali was the name given to one of the capitals of the emperors. 14th century Moroccan traveler Ibn Battuta reported that the capital of the Mali Empire was called Mali. One Mandinka tradition tells that the legendary first emperor Sundiata Keita changed himself into a hippopotamus upon his death in the Sankarani River, and that it's possible to find villages in the area of this river, termed Old Mali, which have Mali for a name. This name could have formerly been that of a city. In Old Mali, there is one village called Malika which means New Mali. Another theory suggests that Mali is a Fulani pronunciation of the name of the Mande peoples. It is suggested that a sound shift led to the change, whereby in Fulani the alveolar segment, nd, shifts to, l, and the terminal vowel denasalizes and raises, thus, mandan, shifts to, mali. History Mali was once part of three famed West African empires which controlled trans-Saharan trade in gold, salt, slaves, and other precious commodities. These Sahelian kingdoms had neither rigid geopolitical boundaries nor rigid ethnic identities. The earliest of these empires was the Ghana Empire, which was dominated by the Saniki, a Mande-speaking people. The empire expanded throughout West Africa from the 8th century until 1078, when it was conquered by the Almoravids. The Mali Empire later formed on the upper Niger River, and reached the height of power in the 14th century. Under the Mali Empire, the ancient cities of Dijene and Timbuktu were centers of both trade and Islamic learning. 
The empire later declined as a result of internal intrigue, ultimately being supplanted by the Songhai Empire. The Songhai people originated in current northwestern Nigeria. The Songhai had long been a major power in West Africa subject to the Mali Empire's rule. In the late 14th century, the Songhai gradually gained independence from the Mali Empire and expanded, ultimately, subsuming the entire eastern portion of the Mali Empire. The Songhai Empire's eventual collapse was largely the result of a Moroccan invasion in 1591, under the command of Judar Pasha. The fall of the Songhai Empire marked the end of the region's role as a trading crossroads. Following the establishment of sea routes by the European powers, the trans-Saharan trade routes lost significance. One of the worst famines in the region's recorded history occurred in the 18th century. According to John Iliff, the worst crises were in the 1680s, when famine extended from the Senegambian coast to the Upper Nile and many sold themselves for slaves, only to get a sustenance, and especially in 1738-1756, when West Africa's greatest recorded subsistence crisis, due to drought and locusts, reportedly killed half the population of Timbuktu. <laughs> French colonial rule. Mali fell under the control of France during the late 19th century. By 1905, most of the area was under firm French control as a part of French Sudan. In early 1959, French Sudan which changed its name to the Sudanese Republic and Senegal united to become the Mali Federation. The Mali Federation gained independence from France on the 20th of June 1960. Senegal withdrew from the federation in August 1960, which allowed the Sudanese Republic to become the independent Republic of Mali on the 22nd of September 1960, and that date is now the country's Independence Day. Modibo Keita was elected the first president. Keita quickly established a one-party state, adopted an independent African and socialist orientation with close ties to the East, and implemented extensive nationalization of economic resources. In 1960, the population of Mali was reported to be about 4.1 million. Moussa <inaudible> Traoré <inaudible> On 19 November 1968, following progressive economic decline, the Keita regime was overthrown in a bloodless military coup led by Moussa Traoré, a day which is now commemorated as Liberation Day. The subsequent military-led regime, with Traoré as president, attempted to reform the economy. His efforts were frustrated by political turmoil and a devastating drought between 1968 and 1974, in which famine killed thousands of people. The Traoré regime faced student unrest beginning in the late 1970s and three coup attempts. The Traoré regime repressed all dissenters until the late 1980s, the government continued to attempt economic reforms, and the populace became increasingly dissatisfied. In response to growing demands for multi-party democracy, the Traoré regime allowed some limited political liberalization. They refused to usher in a full-fledged democratic system. In 1990, cohesive opposition movements began to emerge, and was complicated by the turbulent rise of ethnic violence in the north following the return of many Tuaregs to Mali. Anti-government protests in 1991 led to a coup, a transitional government, and a new constitution. Opposition to the corrupt and dictatorial regime of General Moussa Traoré grew during the 1980s. During this time strict programs, imposed to satisfy demands of the International Monetary Fund, brought increased hardship upon the country's population, while elites close to the government supposedly lived in growing wealth. Peaceful student protests in January 1991 were brutally suppressed, with mass arrests and torture of leaders and participants. Scattered acts of rioting and vandalism of public buildings followed, but most actions by the dissidents remained nonviolent. March Revolution From the 22nd of March through the 26th of March 1991, mass pro-democracy rallies and a nationwide strike was held in both urban and rural communities, which became known as Les Evenements, the events, or the March Revolution. In Bamako, in response to mass demonstrations organized by university students and later joined by trade unionists and others, soldiers opened fire indiscriminately on the nonviolent demonstrators. Riots broke out briefly following the shootings. 
Barricades as well as roadblocks were erected and Traoré declared a state of emergency and imposed a nightly curfew. Despite an estimated loss of 300 lives over the course of four days, nonviolent protesters continued to return to Bamako each day demanding the resignation of the dictatorial president and the implementation of democratic policies. 26 March 1991 is the day that marks the clash between military soldiers and peaceful demonstrating students which climaxed in the massacre of dozens under the orders of then-President Musa Traoré. He and three associates were later tried and convicted and received the death sentence for their part in the decision-making of that day. Nowadays, the day is a national holiday in order to remember the tragic events and the people that were killed. The coup is remembered as Mali's March Revolution of 1991. By 26 March, the growing refusal of soldiers to fire into the largely nonviolent protesting crowds turned into a full-scale tumult, and resulted in thousands of soldiers putting down their arms and joining the pro-democracy movement. That afternoon, Lieutenant Colonel Amadou Toumani Touré announced on the radio that he had arrested the dictatorial president, Moussa Traoré. As a consequence, opposition parties were legalized and a national congress of civil and political groups met to draft a new democratic constitution to be approved by a national referendum. Amadou Toumani Touré presidency In 1992, Alpha Omar Kanare won Mali's first democratic, multi-party presidential election, before being re-elected for a second term in 1997, which was the last allowed under the constitution. In 2002 Amadou Toumani Touré, a retired general who had been the leader of the military aspect of the 1991 democratic uprising, was elected. During this democratic period Mali was regarded as one of the most politically and socially stable countries in Africa. Slavery persists in Mali today with as many as 200,000 people held in direct servitude to a master. In the Tuareg rebellion of 2012, ex-slaves were a vulnerable population with reports of some slaves being recaptured by their former masters. Topic: Northern Mali conflict. In January 2012 a Tuareg rebellion began in northern Mali, led by the National Movement for the Liberation of Azawad In March, military officer Amadou Sanogo seized power in a coup d'état, citing Touré's failures in quelling the rebellion, and leading to sanctions and an embargo by the economic community of West African states. The MNLA quickly took control of the north, declaring independence as Azawad. However, Islamist groups including Ansar Dine and Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb AQIM, who had helped the MNLA defeat the government, turned on the Tuareg and took control of the north with the goal of implementing Sharia in Mali. On the 11th of January 2013, the French armed forces intervened at the request of the interim government. On 30 January, the coordinated advance of the French and Malian troops claimed to have retaken the last remaining Islamist stronghold of Kittel, which was also the last of three northern provincial capitals. On 2 February, the French president, François Hollande, joined Mali's interim president, Dian Kounda Traoré, in a public appearance in recently recaptured Timbuktu. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> Mali is a landlocked country in West Africa, located southwest of Algeria. It lies between latitudes 10 degrees and 25 degrees north, and longitudes 13 degrees west and 5 degrees east. Mali is bordered by Algeria to the northeast, Niger to the east, Burkina Faso and Côte d'Ivoire to the south, Guinea to the southwest, and Senegal and Mauritania to the west. At 1,242,248 square kilometers, 479,635 square miles, Mali is the world's 24th largest country and is comparable in size to South Africa or Angola. Most of the country lies in the southern Sahara Desert, which produces an extremely hot, dust-laden Sudanian savanna zone. Mali is mostly flat, rising to rolling northern plains covered by sand. The Adrar des Ifoas Massif lies in the northeast. Mali lies in the torrid zone and is among the hottest countries in the world. The thermal equator, which matches the hottest spots year-round on the planet based on the mean daily annual temperature, crosses the country. Most of Mali receives negligible rainfall and droughts are very frequent. 
Late June to early December is the rainy season in the southernmost area. During this time, flooding of the Niger River is common, creating the inner Niger Delta. The vast northern desert part of Mali has a hot desert climate, Köppen climate classification BWH with long, extremely hot summers and scarce rainfall which decreases northwards. The central area has a hot semi-arid climate, Köppen climate classification BSH with very high temperatures year-round, a long, intense dry season and a brief, irregular rainy season. The Little Southern Band possesses a tropical wet and dry climate, Köppen climate classification ah. In review, Mali's climate is subtropical to arid, with February to June being the hot, dry season. June to November is rainy, humid and mild. November to February is the cool, dry season. Mali has considerable natural resources, with gold, uranium, phosphates, kaolinite, salt and limestone being most widely exploited. Mali is estimated to have in excess of 17,400 tons of uranium measured plus indicated plus inferred. In 2012, a further uranium mineralized north zone was identified. Mali faces numerous environmental challenges, including desertification, deforestation, soil erosion, and inadequate supplies of potable water. Regions and circles Since 2016, Mali has been divided into ten regions and the district of Bamako. Each region has a governor. The implementation of the two newest regions, Taudanit formerly part of Tombuktu region and Manaka formerly Manaka Circla in Gao region, has been ongoing since January 2016. A governor and transitional council has been appointed for both regions. The ten regions in turn are subdivided into 56 circlas and 703 communes. The regions and capital district are <inaudible> Extent of central government control In March 2012, the Malian government lost control over Tombuktu, Gao and Kittel regions and the northeastern portion of Mopti region. On 6 April 2012, the National Movement for the Liberation of Azawad unilaterally declared their secession from Mali as Azawad, an act that neither Mali nor the international community recognized. The government later regained control over these areas. <laughs> Politics and government Until the military coup of the 22nd of March 2012 and a second military coup in December 2012, Mali was a constitutional democracy governed by the constitution of the 12th of January 1992, which was amended in 1999. The constitution provides for a separation of powers among the executive, legislative, and judicial branches of government. The system of government can be described as semi-presidential. Executive power is vested in a president, who is elected to a five-year term by universal suffrage and is limited to two terms. The president serves as a chief of state and commander-in-chief of the armed forces. A prime minister appointed by the president serves as head of government and in turn appoints the council of ministers. The unicameral National Assembly is Mali's sole legislative body, consisting of deputies elected to five-year terms. Following the 2007 elections, the Alliance for Democracy and Progress held 113 of 160 seats in the Assembly. The Assembly holds two regular sessions each year, during which it debates and votes on legislation that has been submitted by a member or by the government. Mali's constitution provides for an independent judiciary, but the executive continues to exercise influence over the judiciary by virtue of power to appoint judges and oversee both judicial functions and law enforcement. Mali's highest courts are the Supreme Court, which has both judicial and administrative powers, and a separate constitutional court that provides judicial review of legislative acts and serves as an election arbiter. Various lower courts exist, though village chiefs and elders resolve most local disputes in rural areas. <laughs> Foreign relations Mali's foreign policy orientation has become increasingly pragmatic and pro-Western over time. Since the institution of a democratic form of government in 2002, Mali's relations with the West in general and with the United States in particular have improved significantly. 
Mali has a long standing yet ambivalent relationship with France, a former colonial ruler. Mali was active in regional organizations such as the African Union until its suspension over the 2012 Malian coup d'état, working to control and resolve regional conflicts, such as in Ivory Coast, Liberia, and Sierra Leone, is one of Mali's major foreign policy goals. Mali feels threatened by the potential for the spillover of conflicts in neighboring states, and relations with those neighbors are often uneasy. General insecurity along borders in the north, including cross-border banditry and terrorism, remain troubling issues in regional relations. Military Mali's military forces consist of an army, which includes land forces and air force, as well as the paramilitary Gendarmerie and Republican Guard, all of which are under the control of Mali's Ministry of Defense and Veterans, headed by a civilian. The military is underpaid, poorly equipped, and in need of rationalization. Economy <inaudible> 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 The Central Bank of West African States handles the financial affairs of Mali and additional members of the economic community of West African States. Mali is one of the poorest countries in the world. The average worker's annual salary is approximately $1,500. Mali underwent economic reform, beginning in 1988 by signing agreements with the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. During 1988 to 1996, Mali's government largely reformed public enterprises. Since the agreement, 16 enterprises were privatized, 12 partially privatized, and 20 liquidated. In 2005, the Malian government conceded a railroad company to the Savage Corporation. Two major companies, Société de Telecommunications du Mali and the Cotton Ginning Company, CMDT, were expected to be privatized in 2008. Between 1992 and 1995, Mali implemented an economic adjustment program that resulted in economic growth and a reduction in financial imbalances. The program increased social and economic conditions, and led to Mali joining the World Trade Organization on 31 May 1995. Mali is also a member of the Organization for the Harmonization of Business Law in Africa. The gross domestic product GDP has risen since. In 2002, the GDP amounted to $3.4 billion, and increased to $5.8 billion in 2005, which amounts to an approximately 17.6% annual growth rate. Mali is a part of the franc zone, zone franc, which means that it uses the CFA franc. Mali is connected with the French government by agreement since 1962 creation of BCEAO. Today all seven countries of BCEAO including Mali are connected to French Central Bank. Agriculture Mali's key industry is agriculture. Cotton is the country's largest crop export and is exported west throughout Senegal and Ivory Coast. During 2002, 620,000 tons of cotton were produced in Mali but cotton prices declined significantly in 2003. In addition to cotton, Mali produces rice, millet, corn, vegetables, tobacco, and tree crops. Gold, livestock and agriculture amount to 80% of Mali's exports, 80% of Malian workers are employed in agriculture. 15% of Malian workers are employed in the service sector. Seasonal variations lead to regular temporary unemployment of agricultural workers. Topic: Mining. In 1991, with the assistance of the International Development Association, Mali relaxed the enforcement of mining codes which led to renewed foreign interest and investment in the mining industry. Gold is mined in the southern region and Mali has the third highest gold production in Africa after South Africa and Ghana. The emergence of gold as Mali's leading export product since 1999 has helped mitigate some of the negative impact of the cotton and Ivory Coast crises. Other natural resources include kaolin, salt, phosphate, and limestone. Topic: Energy 
Electricity and water are maintained by the Energie du Mali, or EDM, and textiles are generated by Industrie Textile du Mali, or ITEMA. Mali has made efficient use of hydroelectricity, consisting of over half of Mali's electrical power. In 2002, 700 gigawatt hours of hydroelectric power were produced in Mali. Energy du Mali is an electric company that provides electricity to Mali citizens. Only 55% of the population in cities have access to EDM. Topic: <laughs> Transport infrastructure. In Mali, there is a railway that connects to bordering countries. There are also approximately 29 airports of which 8 have paved runways. Urban areas are known for their large quantity of green and white taxicabs. A significant sum of the population is dependent on public transportation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Society. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Demographics. In 2016, Mali's population was an estimated 18 million. The population is predominantly rural 68% in 2002, and 5–10% of Malians are nomadic. More than 90% of the population lives in the southern part of the country, especially in Bamako, which has over 1 million residents. In 2007, about 48% of Malians were younger than 12 years old, 49% were 15 to 64 years old, and 3% were 65 and older. The median age was 15.9 years. The birth rate in 2014 is 45.53 births per 1,000, and the total fertility rate in 2012 was 6.4 children per woman. The death rate in 2007 was 16.5 deaths per 1,000. Life expectancy at birth was 53.06 years total 51.43 for males and 54.73 for females. Mali has one of the world's highest rates of infant mortality, with 106 deaths per 1,000 live births in 2007. Ethnicity Mali's population encompasses a number of sub-Saharan ethnic groups. The Bambara are by far the largest single ethnic group, making up 36.5% of the population. Collectively, the Bambara, Sanike, Kasanke, and Malinke, also called Mandinka, all part of the broader Mande group, constitute 50% of Mali's population. Other significant groups are the Fula, French, Payul, Fula, Fool, 17%, Voltaic, 12%, Songhai, 6%, and Tuareg and more, 10%. In Mali as well as Niger, the Moors are also known as Azawa Arabs, named after the Azawa region of the Sahara. They speak mainly Hassaniya Arabic which is one of the regional varieties of Arabic. Personal names reflect Mali's complex regional identities. In the far north, there is a division between Berber descendant Tuareg nomad populations and the darker skinned Bela or Tamashek people, due to the historical spread of slavery in the region. An estimated 800,000 people in Mali are descended from slaves. Slavery in Mali has persisted for centuries. The Arabic population kept slaves well into the 20th century, until slavery was suppressed by French authorities around the mid 20th century. There still persist certain hereditary servitude relationships, and according to some estimates, even today approximately 200,000 Malians are still enslaved, mixed European, African descendants of Muslims of Spanish, as well some French, Irish, Italian and Portuguese origins live in Mali, they are known as the Arma people 1% of the nation's population. Although Mali has enjoyed a reasonably good inter-ethnic relationships based on the long history of coexistence, some hereditary servitude and bondage relationship exist, as well as ethnic tension between settled Songhai and nomadic Tuaregs of the north. Due to a backlash against the northern population after independence, Mali is now in a situation where both groups complain about discrimination on the part of the other group. This conflict also plays a role in the continuing northern Mali conflict where there is a tension between both Tuaregs and the Malian government, and the Tuaregs and radical Islamists who are trying to establish Sharia law. Topic. Languages 
Mali's official language is French and over 40 African languages also are spoken by the various ethnic groups. About 80% of Mali's population can communicate in Bambara, which serves as an important lingua franca. Mali has 12 national languages beside French and Bambara, namely Bomu, Tioxo Bozo, Toro Sodogon, Masina Fulfold, Hassania Arabic, Mamara Senufo, Kita Maninkakan, Saniki, Koiraburo Seni, Sayanara Senufo, Tamashek, and Zaysangashango. Each is spoken as a first language primarily by the ethnic group with which it is associated. Religion Islam was introduced to West Africa in the 11th century and remains the predominant religion in much of the region. An estimated 90% of Malians are Muslim mostly Sunni, approximately 5% are Christian about two-thirds Roman Catholic and one-third Protestant and the remaining 5% adhere to indigenous or traditional animist beliefs. Atheism and agnosticism are believed to be rare among Malians, most of whom practice their religion on a daily basis. The constitution establishes a secular state and provides for freedom of religion, and the government largely respects this right. Islam, as historically practiced in Mali, has been malleable and adapted to local conditions. Relations between Muslims and practitioners of minority religious faiths have generally been amicable. After the 2012 imposition of Sharia rule in northern parts of the country, however, Mali came to be listed high number seven in the Christian Persecution Index published by Open Doors, which described the persecution in the north as severe. Education Public education in Mali is in principle provided free of charge and is compulsory for nine years between the ages of 7 and 16. The system encompasses six years of primary education beginning at age 7, followed by six years of secondary education. Mali's actual primary school enrollment rate is low, in large part because families are unable to cover the cost of uniforms, books, supplies, and other fees required to attend. In the 2001 school year, the primary school enrollment rate was 61%, 71% of males and 51% of females. In the late 1990s, the secondary school enrollment rate was 15%, 20% of males and 10% of females. The education system is plagued by a lack of schools in rural areas, as well as shortages of teachers and materials. Estimates of literacy rates in Mali range from 27 to 30 to 46.4 percent, with literacy rates significantly lower among women than men. The University of Bamako, which includes four constituent universities, is the largest university in the country and enrolls approximately 60,000 undergraduate and graduate students. Health Mali faces numerous health challenges related to poverty, malnutrition, and inadequate hygiene and sanitation. Mali's health and development indicators rank among the worst in the world. Life expectancy at birth is estimated to be 53.06 years in 2012. In 2000, 62 to 65% of the population was estimated to have access to safe drinking water and only 69% to sanitation services of some kind. In 2001, the general government expenditures on health totaled about $4 per capita at an average exchange rate. Efforts have been made to improve nutrition and reduce associated health problems by encouraging women to make nutritious versions of local recipes. For example, the International Crops Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics and the Aga Khan Foundation, trained women's groups to make equinut, a healthy and nutritional version of the traditional recipe de degu comprising peanut paste, honey and millet or rice flour. The aim was to boost nutrition and livelihoods by producing a product that women could make and sell, and which would be accepted by the local community because of its local heritage. Medical facilities in Mali are very limited, and medicines are in short supply. Malaria and other arthropod borne diseases are prevalent in Mali, as are a number of infectious diseases such as cholera and tuberculosis. Mali's population also suffers from a high rate of child malnutrition and a low rate of immunization. An estimated 1.9% of the adult and children population was afflicted with HIV, AIDS that year, among the lowest rates in sub-Saharan Africa. 
An estimated 85 to 91 percent of Mali's girls and women have had female genital mutilation. 2006 and 2001 data. Topic: <laughs> Gender equality. In 2017, Mali ranked 157th out of 160 countries in the Gender Inequality Index as reported by the United Nations Development Programme. The Malian constitution states to protect women's right, however many laws exist that discriminate women. Provisions in the laws limit women's decision-making power after marriage, in which the husband becomes superior than his wife. Women are blamed for not maintaining the appearance of their husbands and the actions of their misbehaved children, which encourages the attitude against women as being inferiors to men. The lack of participation of women in politics is due to the idea that politics is associated with men and women avoid this sector. Girls' education is also an area in which boys dominate, since it is a better investment for the parents. As traditional values and practices have contributed to gender equality in Mali, conflict and lawlessness has also influenced to the growing gap in gender through gender-based violence. The unstable government of Mali gained the attention of organizations like USAID to improve to the lives of the people, mainly women and girls right in order to re-engage the development of the country. <laughs> Social factors. Religion, the patriarchal social system, and gender based violence are the social factors that shape women in Mali. These factors serve as the norm for gender relations, but are also the cause for inequalities and strengthen male domination within the household. Majority of the population is Muslim and it is reinforced that males dominate the household. Traditional roles of men and women are emphasized in which the man is the head of the household and women have to meet to the needs and demands of men. So girls at a young age are shown and to learn household activities like chores, cooking, child care, etc. as that is the final duty of a woman to become a housewife and rear her children while the men provide for the family. In the patriarchal social system, men are considered the authority and women are subject to obey and respect men. The primary roles of women are that of wife and mother, so childcare house chores, meal preparation, and a discreet life is required of a Malian woman. This means that women, in some cases, are subject to a double burden due to having professional and family obligations that does not apply to men. This inequality toward women then leads to the lack of education of girls in a household because boys are the priority and their education is necessary in comparison to the girls who will eventually marry and join their husband's family. Gender-based violence in Mali happens at the national and household level. At the national level, in 2012 the conflict in the northern part of the country increased cases of kidnappings and rape toward women. The conflict impacted gender and social system, and reduced women's access to resources, economy, and opportunities. The areas of impact then influenced the negative score of Mali in relation to gender equality. At the household level, Malian women face gender-based violence through domestic violence, forced marriages, marital rape, and cultural practices in the family. The Demographic Health Survey for Mali in 2013 stated that 76% of women and 54% of men believed physical harm towards women was acceptable if the woman burnt food, argues back, goes out without notifying her husband, the children are not tended to or refuses sexual relations with her husband. Topic. Area of opportunity The lack of education has increased gender inequality in Mali because not many women are working outside the household or even participating in the public administration sector. After adjusting the entrance requirements and access to education, girls still have lower enrollment rates and less access to formal education. Dropout rates for girls are 15% higher than that of boys because they have a higher responsibility at home and most parents refuse to allow all their children to go to school, so boys tend to become educated. Similarly, technical and vocational education has a lower numbers of girls participating and are inadequately distributed in the country because the training centers are focused in the urban cities. Finally, higher education for girls consists of short programs because early marriages prevent most girls from pursuing a longer-term education program like those in science. Although women do not have the same access of education, in recent decades women have been entering and representing in decision-making positions in the public administration sector. 
Members of Parliament, 15 were women in 2010 out of 147 members. Recent decades show that women are slowly joining important decision-making positions which is changing the attitude and status of women in Mali, which has led to the promotion of women's right in the political sphere. Efforts Legislation at the international and national levels have been implemented over the decades to help promote women's rights in Mali. At the international, Mali signed the Beijing Platform for Action which suggests that women should participate in decision-making and the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women which is the foundation to women's rights promotion. At the national level, Mali's constitution has the decree no. 092-073 PCTSP that claims equality to all Malian citizens and discrimination is prohibited, which has not been followed. The Poverty Reduction Strategy Program and the Growth and Poverty Reduction Strategy Program under the Malian government seek to improve the well-being of the citizens, and changes to governance and gender in the country. The Ministry for Advancement of Women, Children and the Family was created specifically for women and children so that their basics rights and needs get met under the law. Although there exists legislation and policy for gender equality the institutionalization of the national gender policy of Mali is necessary to support the importance of women's rights. Strengthening and the support of girls and women's access to education and training is recommended to improve gender equality in Mali. The involvement of international organizations like USAID assist Mali financially to enhance their development through the efforts of the improvement of women's rights. Culture The varied everyday culture of Malians reflects the country's ethnic and geographic diversity. Most Malians wear flowing, colorful robes called bubus that are typical of West Africa. Malians frequently participate in traditional festivals, dances, and ceremonies. Music Malian musical traditions are derived from the griots, who are known as keepers of memories. Malian music is diverse and has several different genres. Some famous Malian influences in music are Kora virtuoso musician Tumani Jabate, the Ngoni with Basaku Kuyate the virtuoso of the electric Jilai Ngoni, the late roots and blues guitarist Ali Farka Torre, the Tuareg band Tenariwen, and several Afro-pop artists such as Salif Keita, the duo Amadou et Mariam, Umu Sangare, Rokia Traore, and Habib Koite. Dance also plays a large role in Malian culture. Dance parties are common events among friends, and traditional mask dances are performed at ceremonial events. Literature Though Mali's literature is less famous than its music, Mali has always been one of Africa's liveliest intellectual centers. Mali's literary tradition is passed mainly by word of mouth, with Jollies reciting or singing histories and stories known by heart. Amadou Hampate Ba, Mali's best known historian, spent much of his life writing these oral traditions down for the world to remember. The best known novel by a Malian writer is Yambo Oologem's La Devar de Violence, which won the 1968 Prix Renato but whose legacy was marred by accusations of plagiarism. Other well-known Malian writers include Baba Traoré, Modibo Sunkalo Keita, Massa Makan Jabate, Musa Konate, and Phila Dabo Sissoko. Sport The most popular sport in Mali is association football soccer, which became more prominent after Mali hosted the 2002 African Cup of Nations. Most towns and cities have regular games, the most popular teams nationally are Joliba AC, Stade Malian, and Real Bamako, all based in the capital. Informal games are often played by youths using a bundle of rags as a ball. Basketball is another major sport. The Mali women's national basketball team, led by Hamchatu Maiga, competed at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Traditional wrestling is also somewhat common, though popularity has declined in recent years. The game Wari, a Mancala variant, is a common pastime. Cuisine 
Rice and millet are the staples of Malian cuisine, which is heavily based on cereal grains. Grains are generally prepared with sauces made from edible leaves, such as spinach or baobab, with tomato peanut sauce, and may be accompanied by pieces of grilled meat, typically chicken, mutton, beef, or goat. Malian cuisine varies regionally. Other popular dishes include fufu, jollof rice, and mafe. Topic: Media. In Mali, there are several newspapers such as Les Echos, Lesser, Info Maiden, Nouvelle Horizon, and La Républicaine. The telecommunications in Mali include 869,600 mobile phones, 45,000 televisions, and 414,985 internet users. Topic. See also Index of Mali-related articles Outline of Mali